Hi guys. <laughs> it's me again, like 10 minutes later because um, I, I'm just going to do my little fragrance video because it's raining now. I was going to go outside. I was really ambitious. I was like, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go to the cafe and like read my books that I'm supposed to read. But girl, it's raining. I don't like getting wet, so it's not going to happen. And I have like, I have this like tutoring session at like in a couple hours and now that it's raining, I don't really feel like going out and then coming back to meet this person to go, you know, like study, study. It, like we kind of just like read an article. Look, I can't stay on topic. Let me just shut up and talk about the perfumes because I know this is going to be a really long video. And if you have a snack, please bring it because you will need a snack. Um, But yes, I am going to expose my little perfume collection that is kind of in my opinion it's an embar embarrassing amount of perfumes that I have but I seen worse like you know the overconsumption core of people on the internet I've seen it they get a lot they have a lot they have a lot now I am not going to show my like any like drugstore level ones because like I do have like I have like this guy um it's like an Am Amore Pacific I don't know what this is called on hope I don't know I kind of bought this because it has this like little cat on it it was cute it smells like it's like very inoffensive but it's very generic like I feel like I wear this when I like just want to smell clean but not interesting if that makes sense so like I'm not including these because I do have a few like this le level of perfume that you can just like pick up at I mean you can buy like expensive perfume at Olive Young too but I mean like guys that you can just pick up at Olive Young or um like body sprays so if it's like not eau de parfum or whatever like or below like just body mist or like whatever I'm not talking about those today which I have those and I mean I like them um there's one that my students like a lot and it's actually the lotion that I've been using when I don't wear any perfume because I feel like it's easy to like clash the the scent but um love spell my students freaking love this like I've had students come like sniff me or like hang around me to smell this so I don't know what they like about this like children specific I mean it smells it smells good I like it too but like I don't know what makes children like this like I maybe it's like kind of like creme brulee smelling you know what I mean like it it's very like it's musky, but it's more like gourmand. So I guess maybe that's why kids like it. I don't know, but my students really like this. Um, don't know why they do, but maybe. I feel like it's also kind of like an like an auntie type of smell, which might be like like auntie smells would be their their mom's age demographic. So maybe they just like it because it's like familiar. I don't know, but my students love this. They love it. It smells good. I like it. It's a classic. This actually, this is Love Spell Noir. So it's not the original Love Spell, which like, I think original Love Spell probably makes me angry because it'll take me back to middle school and I will hate it. Which brings me to a thing about perfumes is that like sometimes, uh, as you will see, I usually do buy the big ass like, what is this? Like 10 mils? whatever I usually get the big ass oh no 10 mils girl 100 mils I usually go for like the big the big bottle like if I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna buy it usually but there is a danger in buying the full size bottle that I should disclaim to y'all if you're gonna buy perfume I don't know if you will but if something bad or like 
negative or just really, I don't know, like if something happens in the time period that you are wearing a specific like daily fragrance, your brain will like attach that time period to that smell. And like, I cannot reiterate how I will sometimes buy a perfume and did not wear it for a few months because I'm just like, if I wear it now, I'm gonna remember this. Which like, you don't actually know what part will do that. So for example, there's like, there's this like Victoria's Secret, it's the blue one. I think it's discontinued. But I cannot, like, smell that without, like, feeling some type of way. So, I mean, good thing that was, like, discontinued and cheap. Like, it doesn't really feel bad. But, like, imagine you have, like, a favorite perfume. And then, like, because I think it's kind of the, the whole concept of, like, somebody hates a perfume that smells like their ex. You know what I mean? So, like, that, that you know, you have to be careful with um your perfume choices because sometimes you can destroy a smell that you really like because something happens. I don't know if that's good or bad, but whatever. Uh, yeah, that was, that's basically just my disclaimer against buying 100 mils. Also 100 mils is expensive and takes a long time to use up. So like it will be with you for a long time, which can be good or bad, you know, whatever your perspective is on the perfume because I mean, and some, some just don't come in smaller. You just can't get them smaller or you can't get them larger. So yeah anyway um i have no particular order of these i was gonna think i was thinking of doing them by like season or brand or whatever or like cheapest to most expensive girl we don't need to talk about how much they cost especially or like how much they cost in korea <sighs> girl listen i don't know why but I, I feel like fragrance is popping off in the internet sphere in the world and like I don't know how I feel about it because like I I you know not not to be a hipster but like I was like into the trend for a while like before it popped off and like definitely I don't know about other places again but I like live here um and I smell people who over spray every day all the time like especially because I take like pu public transit or just like walking around people overspray, and like I feel like that happens a lot when you're used to using body spray because body spray you can just go to town and you will not like be projecting this like scent onto everybody but like bro like EDP <laughs> EDP Sorry, I am chronically online. Not, not EDP, the pedophile, eau de parfum. It, like, if you spray that, like, girl, you will stink. So don't, don't do it. Just don't do it. Um, so I guess I can start with my, my like rep, not replica, the, the Mesa Margiela, but like the, my replica perfumes that I have. Um, so I have this dark amber ginger lily and this smells really good. Um, I recommend this brand. It's like a Korean, um, replicating company called like 912. Um, but like their replicas are spot on because I had a replica of, um, Tom Dao and something else and I used them completely but I had never smelled those fragrances in real life like the originals so it was kind of like a blind buy because my these are like real cheap like real cheap honestly if you're a broke boy this because they always have like two plus one discount or two plus two discount like it's always on sale it's like never not on sale so like honestly if you're a broke boy this is this is your but um yeah they, they also have like they have replicas of like a lot of like famous they even have like like chanel which i hate that one god that it's too it's doing too much but like they have like chanel number five and stuff like that like 
you know, your little bootleg, your bootleg, there's a cat screaming outside, your little bootleg, uh, queen, it is just screaming, girl, get together, um, but anyway, it, it's just like, they're, they're fake, but if you do not have the real one and the fake one side by side, you cannot tell. And if you smelled this on someone, you would think that it was the real one. So I do recommend this, um, this brand. I think they only ship in Korea, but I mean, if I'm, if I see you, I can like get you one, but yes, this one dark, um, dark amber ginger lily is like, I actually don't know what this original, like what the real perfume name is, but this one is like very likable. Like, I think, like, people just smell it and it just smells like, like, perfume, if that makes sense. Like, it, it's not really, like, bright and floral. It's kind of, like, woody and floral. And, like, I don't get the, the darkness that they, they're, like, they claim, you know, like, dark amber. It's, like, it, it does smell, like, more mature. Like, it's not, like... Ooh, it's very sweet. It's not, you know, it's not her. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like my students would like this, but this, this occasion, I think, is more like, um, hang out with platonic friends. Semi-professional. This would be good for an office. It's not like overpowering. It's not like boom. You know what I mean? Like, this is a good like work, work one. It's also good for like, if it just in your bag, because... I feel like it does not clash with, like, if you already spray something and you're fading out and it's, like, you know, 8 p.m., but you want to, like, refresh. I don't feel like this one would, like, clash unless you had something, like, if you, unless you had something like this, this, like, chai that are, like, completely different, like, categories of scent. I think you'd be fine to, like, layer this dude. So, um, yes, this one's just very likable, very mindful very demure we like her so um dark amber ginger lily i don't know what the real one is if i find it i will i think it probably is just this this is probably its name but i don't know what the brand is of this or whatever okay and then i have another replica um for some reason i kind of like it when like a perfume is like that like weird pea color you know or like that like looks like it's a whiskey or something for some reason i feel like those always smell better than the ones that are clear not necessarily but you know what i mean like the ones that are little you, you can see it um but anyway this one's black orchid black orchid black orchid is is this but more sweet like this one i think maybe is more people pleaser than this even because this one is just like smells I mean obviously like orchid but it's not woody it's just like it's sweet it kind of gives me like do you know those like candies they're like little like hard candy bonbon type candies that sometimes had like a little picture of flowers I feel like they're European they gotta be European they're probably from Poland because I would see them at, like, the Polish grocery store. They're, like, candies that, like, have a rose flavor or, like, a floral candy. Like, it kind of smells like that. And it kind of smells like, um... It's very, it's very like, can like, there's a candy. Like, a, a sweet, like, not perfume, floral sweet, but, like, a, a sugary kind of sweet. Like, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, it's, it's really giving me candy. It's like, this one is pr probably one of my second most, I mean, compared to this, like, most, like, gourmand kind of scents. But, as you can see, I haven't used it that much because this is usually not my vibe. But it does smell good. I would, the occasion, I'd wear this. I guess it's going to be a theme. I'll be like... Where, when would I wear this? Um, I'd wear this like maybe springtime and possibly winter 
but like not summer because I feel like it's too hot and it would just like smell really sweet and right now it's not it's too, a little bit too like bright for fall so yeah she smells good but that's her story okay the next one I have is rosewood um I tried this hand cream so this brand has like hand cream perfume and I think those like little diffuser rods they sell and it's a Korean brand um but and it's it's a lot of little one it's only like 30 mils um but this smells really expensive like this smells like um I mean it's called rosewood but it's not like rosy like you know those jammy like smells like rose jam type of like perfumes like it and it's not like old lady you know what I mean it, it smells like you know when you go to like a really expensive store in the mall and it just like has this like fragrance of like expensive like it it kind of smells like that because it's a little bit musky but it's like very again this one's another really people pleaser y kind of perfume which like it like it kind of leans a little bit like ooh night kind of smell but at the same time it's like kind of familiar in a way that I feel like most people would like enjoy this scent I was kind of surprised that this was on sale I kind of like bought this because it was on sale <laughs> um but I had bought the, I, had, I had used the um the hand cream which was nice they come in like a little a little like a little square thing oh I don't know but it's I feel like this smells a lot more luxurious than than it, it costs and it smells kind of this was my most my most soapy which I'm not a, a fan of soapy I sometimes like powdery um but I feel like this is a good replacement for my That, that that pink one that was in a square that I no longer have because I used all of it um the Rodriguez whatever the the pink one you know what I'm talking about I'm pretty sure I've shown it before um that one it's like a good replacement for that one because it smells quite similar to it but I also feel like that that perfume just got overplayed like everybody and their mama in Korea got it and like I would smell it everywhere I went like I just go places and be like I smell it I smell it someone's wearing it so I think you know she kind of got played out and I stopped like I had that little hipster moment of like well now she's just all out in the street so I don't like her so but like this one I could definitely see it like getting to that level of popularity maybe not to the popularity of um white musk you know the um the face shop face shop the body shop the body shop the body shop um white musk is just like that was ubiquitous level popular it i get it it smells good i had it i had like the little little 20 mil one it's nice uh pro tip just get the like roll-on deodorant of that one because it's so fragrant that if you wear that deodorant I, I realized I could not wear perfume because you smelled the deodorant and I think it's just more worth it to just get the roll on deodorant stick it's cheaper and like it smells the same as the perfume so but like also the body shop I guess is a um, MLM or something so I don't really support that but I mean to each their own they're kind of dying out I don't know what's happening to their company but yeah okay so that was that was Rosewood where would I wear her um, I've, I've worn her in the daytime, but she's very night a little bit, just a little bit, ooh, the night, you know, so I guess she's kind of versatile. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really wear this one to work though. Like I'd wear this like on the weekend. So yeah. Okay. Now to my replica. Um, this one's matcha meditation and I love, hate this perfume. Like, I like it, but I also kind of hate it. 
because just like this one it's a little sweet like it gives me matcha candy like I kind of wish they made it a little bit more like grassy and I wish they made a little bit more like something bitter in there or yeah like a little bit less sweet like tone back the sweet like I feel like it's too candy like but it, it does like for summer this one's great because it's like not that overpowering and it like this one you would think would be a, a crowd pleaser like from the description you know like it's just it's sweet it's like a little bit green tea it's like you know you would think this one would maybe be like what is it elizabeth arden green tea i feel like this is like smells better than elizabeth arden green tea but at the same time it's too sweet like in my opinion i don't really like sweet perfumes but like this one like it, do I not like it that I regret buying it? No, like that, I I just don't, it's not like the one that I'm like, yes, gotta put, gotta put her on. But I mean, yeah, I decanted some of this. That's why it looks like I've been like, you know, spraying the shit like crazy, but I haven't. I've decanted this into one of those little um, travel spritzers because like that other one I said, you could, you can top off some other fragrance late in the day and not smell crazy with this one so i do like it for that um one thing i like about the mason margelia bottles is that you can like unscrew this and decant them which like most of them are like kind of like on there and you can't do that so i do like that about these you can also get these refilled i heard uh well like most most perfumes you can actually go get them refilled by the the you know company they'll give you a refill for cheaper um but like these bottles are not anything special like they're literally just like i don't it's not like i feel like oh i really want to like have this bottle you know and refill it or whatever like i would not care you know what i mean but yeah this one's good where would i wear it i would wear this just all the time it like smells nice but a little bit sweet so if like if sweet is your jam like you like to smell like candy ish like not overpowering candy but like not a vanilla it is there's i feel like there's like a note of vanilla in this but like if you don't want to smell like vanilla candy like but you just want to smell like kind of like sweet i feel like the, the kind of girl that likes this likes um she definitely did the like matcha nail, nail thing. She did the blueberry nail. She's like kind of like pastel stuff. I feel like th that's the mood I get of like this perfume, which is like not really me like aesthetically, but it, it does smell good and I do like it. So yes. Now my favorite and weirdly another fragrance that my students like, you wouldn't think they'd like this. But they do is jazz club now i think i feel like jazz club smells like a jazz club like they did the rec re replica of jazz club quite well it's like it's like kind of smoky and boozy like it smells like you know all the warmth of like a jazz club you know but this perfume is weird because sometimes you spray it and i get like the really the sweet like cocktails kinds of smell and then other times it's kind of like burnt you know like um not burnt but like like tobacco you know like I get more out of this I don't know I'm, I'm assuming it's like a body chemistry type of thing but like sometimes I spray this and I'm like oh this smells really like sweet and like what's going on and then other times I'm like mm, it's a little it, it's like a, sometimes it gives me a little bit of that like that like that like when you go into like a honey one, like the, you know, the medicine smell I get sometimes, which like, I don't mind that smell. I kind of like it, but it's something about it that you might, like you might spray this, you might get like harmony. You spray this another day. It's like, Ooh, a jazz club. Other times you spray it. It's like, can't like those, the fruits that are in a cocktail, you know, like, 
I get a mixed bag out of this. The descriptions I've heard from people online, like, we don't have the same experience off of this perfume. So, I don't know. But I do love this one. If I did use this up, which is probably not possible because that's another thing. I should have said about these. Um, these have average longevity. Like, you spray it in the morning. You don't need to bring this with you. It has average longevity. You will still smell it by the end of your work day. Will you smell it by the end of the day? Day? Maybe not. Unless you're, like, sniffing. You know, but, like, this one, these will last, like, all day. Um, this one has kind of intense longevity. You will think it's gone, and then you'll, like, suddenly get a whiff later. So, I, this one, value-wise, honestly value now there's there's another one of this not the hanoki because i don't smell good but there's like another one that's like something leather it smells so bad on me and my dumb ass sprayed it on myself in olive young because i was just like oh let me just like test it out i like the others and i sprayed it that would mm, regret um but yeah this one has really good longevity this one, mixed bag. I think because that's why I decanted it. You like put it, you you start off your day with this and it's kind of like, damn, did I spray too much of this? And then like two hours later, you don't smell it. And then you kind of smell it and then it's gone. You know, like this, this longevity is not great. So keep that in mind, I guess. Jazz Club on the other hand, lasts all day you can tell how like i haven't i i use this a lot like i've used this like daily for a while and it still like hasn't moved that that much so like this this one's longevity is like she's good um yes moving on <laughs> this is gonna be a long video this is this is gonna be like one of those like 40 minutes i'm sorry okay this one i'm wearing today atelier chai um, I said before, it's, um, very reminiscent of the cardamom coffee from Lush. Uh, and I kind of like this one more because I feel like it has more, like, notes of spices. Like, I feel like this smells more, like, it's gonna sound weird, but this one smells more, like, curry than it does like just a chai like I feel like it's like cinnamon and like turmeric and like a lot of like herbs and spices <laughs> like it's KFC it's like you know a lot of herbs and spices you know what I mean it's like a little bit more like uh edible smelling but it's also like a little bit sweeter than cardamom coffee I don't have cardamom coffee anymore because I used it all. I think I have the like solid perfume of it. Um, still. The solid perfume does, doesn't last that, that long though. Like I feel like the cardamom coffee I had that was like in this size um, bottle lasted all day. It, But the, the, the solid one doesn't really. Um, that's up to you though. I mean, do you want it to last all day? Do you want... Do you want to wear that sweater tomorrow and still smell the same perfume? Because, like, that's what happens with the long, long longevity ones. Like, Jazz Club, if you spray this, like, on a shirt that, you know, is your outer shirt, you're going to wear it again. You're going to smell like Jazz Club tomorrow, too. So, um, yeah. This one is by this brand called, like, Arbo. I don't know if it's, like, Rainbow or whatever. Let's see what it's like Korean name says. I can't see though because I'm blind. It says Arbo. So it is Arbo. So yeah, I don't um this brand is like kind of newish. Kind of like uh I don't know, it's like it's it's you can buy this. I bought this at Olive Young, but they also have a website, but their website is like really sold out. And I think they did like a limited run because it's really hard for me to find this. Um, 
like I'd see it in store they'd have the tester and I'd be like do you have it and they were like no we don't have it so um yeah I don't think it's like it's not quite a niche perfume but it's it's not like popular and I think like their smells are their like fragrances are really unique but like unique in a way that like they're not as people pleaser like I think people could potentially smell this one and be like it smells good but why like why are you wearing it like why is that your fragrance like I feel like maybe more people would find this appealing as a candle but um longevity wise it's quite it lasts quite well but it, like once it's done it's done like it doesn't like fade away it just like stops and I mean I could it could be like nose blindness I could just like just not smell it anymore at the end of the day but I feel like this one does not stay but like it's not weak so much that I wish I had it in my bag to top up that makes sense um I also like feel that like fragrances should be when you walk into a room you should be discovered not announced kind of mentality about perfumes where like I don't think you should just like come in blazing like cologne people should like notice it when they're like close by it shouldn't just be like Whoa! smell you know so I'm looking at you people who like assault my nostrils with Dior Sauvage all the time I hate Dior Sauvage with a passion and I also hate um Lush Dirty because of Korea everybody has that oh oh if you smell like Lush Dirty I automatically don't like you just FYI okay speaking of Lush I'll talk about my Lush perfumes I'll I will go from dislike to love um so This one, I kind of dislike. Dislike's a strong word. The dry down is like kind of soapy. And that's why I don't like it. Like, I feel like the initial smell of this is like really like bright and like gingery. I mean, it's called ginger. But like, it's very like ginger snap, bright, like, poof, wow kind of smell and when you spray it on a card or like something that's not you it smells like that but when you spray it on it's like really it smells like someone just like used soap and they didn't rinse completely the soap off their body like it smells very clean but in like a way that I don't like because it's not like soapy clean it's kind of gingery clean you know what I mean like there's something about this so like what I found is if you do spray this on like your ankle pulse points it's fine because I guess it's so far away from your nose and it's like kind of diffuses it that it it's fine there but do not like chest no way wrist no way like they're, they're like so I'm not like because I could just like resell this I could just like put on marketplace and sell it um but it, it's not like unusable I just it's not for me and like this this is my bone to pick with lush lush stop selling the like the little this size they stopped selling this size, which would have been perfect for this because I feel like, you know, I like it enough that I would use it. Will I ever use all of this? No, probably not. And it's like a bad layer. Like it's not one dimensional enough to be like a layer, you know, like a tag team with another perfume. It is just like, she's coming out hot. I, I don't, you know, and it, it's like, I've had perfumes where I'm like, oh, I feel like this is like a little bit more masculine than I want it to be or something like that and then you can just like you know spray on literally that's where body mist comes in handy like you can just spray on like a body mist and then it'll like kind of push it into a more like feminine type of smell but like this I don't know I really don't know like I don't 
don't recommend this is my only like don't recommend this is my don't recommend um the longevity great but i don't like her so yeah okay next we have another love i did don't use this one that much but don't let that fool you uh is death and decay from lush it's so like i feel like so there's there is a frederick um there's a frederick malay perfume that's called carnal flower i think and it smells almost exactly like this like this is a dupe but i mean by the price of this in Korea, I don't I kinda think it's not a dupe like price wise, so it's not really a true dupe. It might be a true dupe in, in the States, but it's not a true dupe here. Um but it like it smells just like it and I feel like thinking like the name definitely influences you, right? Like Carnal Flower versus Death and Decay. I feel like Death and Decay, the name and then smelling it really makes you think of like a funeral home and like the fresh cut flowers and like the like dustiness kind of like a library type of smell and like there's a little bit of like uh like there's there's like a little bit of an animalic note that gives you a hint of like this sounds so like nasty but it's not when you smell it it gives like this little bit of like formaldehyde type smell at the end like a very like a not plastic it's literally it's it's literally like a little bit like like preservative type of smell at the end of it but like there's something about that that's like sweet you know like that you remember those those plastic toys that like smelled sweetish and i the like the first plastic i'm thinking of that was like that were like those little clear not those clear purses but like those clear toys that you you could get as a kid or like cabbage patch kid the plastic parts like their heads smell it's kind of a little bit of that like that that kind of smell but i feel like with this being called death and decay i get like funeral home vibes right but then like if i smell it and think about of it as like carnal rose i don't it's not it's not like a sensual kind of like floral it's like it's like getting a bouquet like it smells like if you like walk you know those refrigerators that have flowers in them and you walk in and you, you just smell this like like the, the white like lily type of flowers i'm pretty sure this has lily as one of the notes um but like it has this long long and like it has tonka it does not smell like it does not smell like it like it smells like fresh flowers like flowers that are like in a refrigerator like i don't know this smells really good but it smells really weird and i think some people could hate it and some people could be like "Ooh, smells interesting i i personally think it smells interesting but and i think when i wore this someone did compliment this which is rare i feel like of ones that have gotten compliments were jazz club because students like the smell of this and um we haven't got to her yet but she's coming she's coming um but yeah people someone did compliment this so it's not like it's nasty you know like it's not like it's divisive of a smell but it's not like as friendly as these guys like i feel like this one would not like come over at work unless you work at like what kind of job would I think of this like maybe like someone who does work in that type of setting like a library or like a curator like I the image I get from smelling this is someone who's just like indoors like a, a very indoor cat type of person like they they're not outside they are like wearing sleeves like you can only see their like their like 
this you know th that's the image I get from this very like Victorian era kind of you know it smells really good I love it but I have again I haven't used it that much and it's like to me it smells quite winter time like the winter early spring late fall so I'll be using it but not soon like I'll probably start using this in November so I'll have more to say about it then I guess okay my absolute favorite look how much is gone out of 300 mils like bro um this was my daily for a really long time it's grass um they charge entirely too much for this now I did smell this grass recently because I thought about replacing it even though this is like if I use this daily this is probably like two months you know what I mean but like look the new one has that thing that lush tends to have happened to the lather perfumes where you get this like synthetic like salty I've heard play-doh type of smell from it that's not pleasant and I don't know like what it is is it, is it like cheap ingredients is it changing the like formulation I don't know because I know they use essential oils and you can tell that they do because the I don't know if you can see it but it's like kind of like a residue in the bottle from them um but like this it smells so good it was like it's so like a lot of people online say they do smell a grassiness like it smells like grass and like I don't really get that type of grass I get it is a greenish smell but it's like yo I really don't know how to describe this I'm real sorry it says it's an herby sandalwood I guess sandalwood but not like that sandalwood that smells like expensive do you know I don't know what I don't know what to like call this it says that there's um bergamot I don't smell that either bitter orange I do smell bitter orange I don't... it smells there's like a little bit of patchouli too it smells you know what this smells like like if this if this hadn't like a image a person like the death and decay did this one's kind of like um a little bit like a hippie mom though like not like a hippie that is just like living in a, a van but like a mom that's a hippie um she's the mom that like low-key smokes weed and like she like she's not like that deep into it where she's like a vegan but like she definitely buys like really bougie food and like she doesn't let her kids like watch tv at all like it, it has that like that she has like really long hair that she like it might be dreaded but it it's definitely not like you're like babe use some conditioner you know like she uses essential oils on that shit like that's that's what this smells like but i really love it so um, I can't recommend it because the new the new formulation doesn't smell as good as this, which is sad. So I've actually like not been using it. I just like put it away because I'm like, well, when it's gone, it's gone. So yeah. Anyway, this was probably like my number one favorite. <sighs> okay, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming up at the end. We're coming up at the end. All right. Um, let's just let's just do um. Let's just do diptyque first. This one, because I don't have a lot to say about it. Okay, but like, first of all, look how beautiful this is. There's like these figs here. And this beautiful like mural in the background. I bought this in Busan after I went to a wedding. And I felt like, oh, I need to get a souvenir because I like came all the way to Busan. So, so I bought this. Um, and it's fig. It's literally pure fig. It's like base top note base note whatever is like fig fig leaf fig tree like it's just literally straight up fig um does it smell amazing yes it is 
this is the this is the EDP, not the EDT, but it, it I feel like if you get the EDT, you must be buying water because this does not have like any longevity. It does not have any projection. But if somebody like hugs you, they'd be like, damn, you smell good. But like you do not like this is not this is like a very personal fragrance. Um, that being said, for a very personal setting, perfect, perfect. You don't, you don't want to be like, you know, smelling this this is great you cannot overspray this that's probably why so much of it is gone because i've had to like you know top up with this this perfume it smells great though it smells great um but my recommendation is this hand cream um this muhoga hand cream by sky bottle is i have one that's open so that's why this one's still in this thing um is literally this exact fragrance stronger as a as a hand cream recommend that over this 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 is like this is like maybe six bucks this is like a hundred something like that I don't know like don't buy this but like the bottle very beautiful um I would love to like refill this with not this you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd love to refill this with another like fragrance but I did smell another one and it was like the paper the paper one and it smells really good too but it doesn't there's no longevity and the dupe that I had of the diptyque um tamdao in this smelled amazing but again did not have any longevity so I don't know I kind of don't like diptyque <sighs> gasp I don't I kind of don't like diptyque because their fragrances smell beautiful but you can't smell them for like long or like well so they're not easily dupable but this is like such a one-dimensional one it is dupable but like bro mm -mm, don't don't do it okay <sighs> we got to we got two we got we got three left these are okay I'm going to start with this one. Um, I use it a lot, but it's very strong. This one, is this one EDP? Is this EDP? This one might be a straight up perfume. No, it says EDP. This says EDT. Girl, she's real strong for EDT. Um, but the, the Ronce girl she this smells like a rich lady a rich lady um on like summer vacation at her summer home it's like a little bit minty it's like really clean it's like i feel like it's what uh it's what that blue one the cool dolce and gabbana cool water You know that one that everybody talks about. I feel like it's what that one wants to be if it had like a little bit of citrus, a little bit of like, like this smells like, it smells like she speaks Italian. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Does, or is that capturing the aura? Like it smells like she speaks Italian. It's... It's, this is so good and I almost didn't get it because I was like on the fence between something else but it wasn't the season to wear that one and so I was like well I'm kind of in the mood like also I bought this one at the Hyundai and the girl that works there like she just talks and talks to you and it's like kind of entertaining and fun and basically I ended up getting this one which is funny because she she doesn't point you in the direction of the more expensive one she just points you in the direction of the one you want so I respect her but um yeah this it's real good it lasts okay this the last three last forever um I definitely recommend if you don't want your clothes to smell like it make sure you, you like spray it before you put on your clothes it's still gonna happen it's still your clothes are still gonna smell like it but do not spray this like you like dressed and be like no your clothes will smell like it even after the wash you still get hints of it so you're kind of dedicated to 
this um it feels very summer though like again i said summer home speaks italian bougie we're like in the hamptons i don't know like <sighs> this smells so good um and strangely enough this one's like more affordable than like this you know what i mean like and like apparently this is like a really old perfume house um like some of the perfumes of this brand are like from the 1800s or something i don't know but they're like it's giving like guerlain kind of like you know what i mean like uh, i love this and yeah they only have large size ones like they they only had this hundred mil um but i don't mind because this if i have for like 10 years would not be angry would not be angry okay and then we have the one that i got of this the start it all of of this brand is this one elise um so it's weird because i told her i want something spicy i love spicy this one yeah it's spicy but like that's not the okay i also don't know how to describe this but like after i bought this i kind of felt like i regretted it because i got home and i sprayed it and i was like i don't think i like this on me but i mean i just paid like whatever let's not talk about it i just i just bought this so i might as well like wear it this is my most complimented perfume like if i wear this people are just like oh, you smell good why do you smell good like like i don't know like no usually no one ever says anything right about most of these except for stuff my students like because they have no filter they just say stuff this though everybody likes it i personally don't think it i don't like and not like i think it smells bad but i personally don't understand what makes people like this but it's real likable to like everyone i don't know i really don't know like personally i like you know like if i could go back in time and smell this and like you know spray it on myself walk around the store and come back and think about it i think i probably would not have bought this at all because i don't think i liked it like not that i don't like it but like i wouldn't have been like mm, yeah this is for me i don't know why but everybody loves this like everybody loves this so um yeah i don't know why but everybody loves it it smells good like in a in a like spicy sweet a little tiny bit citrus kind of way it smells great to everyone so yeah i guess she's like up on the list and now finally wow it's like an hour long video holy crap okay my the big dog my recent purchase in seoul we don't really need to talk about we really don't need to talk about how much this costs please do not look it up you can look it up i don't care um but i got the 100 mil because actually look the 100 mil price versus the i think it's 30 or 50 mil price really made no sense like if you're gonna pay that why don't you just get the bigger one it was it was one of those situations look her now i got a lot of like free stuff <laughs> she gave me like she gave me two two sample sizes of promise she gave me a sample size of carnal rose which is the one that i said smells like death and decay she gave me a sample of some other thing and then one of those like little medallions that you put in your suitcase or your your um your closet your oat jong or whatever girl oh yeah and i got like two um gift card not gift cards but you know the little like money that you can use at shinsege from buying that yeah anyway we don't need to talk about that we really don't but i will say this perfume i will have for a million years because you can only use one spray if you use one spray it's still a lot she's still doing a lot look she's doing a lot and like god forbid you sprayed this twice or you sprayed it like on your chest or like anywhere that's hot 
anywhere that's like exposed anywhere that's like you are just you like everybody would just be like you're that person that wears too much cologne like literally that's what that that's what you would smell like if you spray this hard like you know what would be the most, most cursed moment is if somebody dropped this and it broke in their room smelled like this you would just suffer like that'd be a gas chamber you would die okay but that being said this smell is very i mean look at it it's like very arabic like it it gives that like it's like a very ancient kind of smell which i love i love perfumes like that i had another i used it up i had another perfume that was like kind of one of those it was like damascan rose and like all these like ambers and stuff like it's very like middle eastern very arabic you know very hubby v you know girl this this smells like like everybody talks about the apple how like it's so apple it's like this really like pungent apple but like the the smell that i get from it is the like woodiness like rose woodiness like a um lots of rose very deep rose though like and also that like leathery like a kind of animalic like leathery it smells so good but it's so strong so um this i think would be i mean i wouldn't get this give this as a gift because i feel like it is very like divisive of like will they like it will they not like it yeah bad gift maybe unless you know they've tried this or they like similar ones but it, it would be a good gift because it lasts so long it would also be a good gift for a man because I feel like it leans a little bit it leans a little bit masculine but it's it's it I mean it's solid unisex but like this one yeah it's 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 so good but like you gotta be careful um and I did smell this on someone in public and like bro strong like I think this this like this if this was a person like like let's just take the whole like arabic aspect out of it like if this was a person they're like very like bold and like confident but also like trad in a way do you know what i mean like they're not they don't they're like outside of the box but like inside of it at the same time like that's that's the image I get from this because it's like very like classic kind of like, you know, like, you know, rose, woods, ambers, you know, it's a very like traditional kind of smell. But at the same time, it's like, hey, I'm here. Everybody look at me, you know, so I personally love this. Again, this is another one that you I I learned this from people online. Ankle. One spray ankle. You're Gucci. Um. I did get some of this on my skirt. My skirt still smells like it, but that's fine because I love it. So yeah. Anyway, that's my perfume collection of like all my like actual like perfumes that I had to buy at like a perfume counter and not any like, you know, other kinds of perfumes, which I do unfortunately have. So, you know, that could be another discussion, but, uh, yeah, today's fragrance is the Atelier. Uh, yeah, I'm trying I'm trying my best not to buy any more perfumes this this year. Probably will happen. I probably will not buy another perfume this year. I'm pretty confident in that. But yeah. That was my collection. Hope you enjoyed. Um yeah, let me know what your favorite category of perfumes are. I'm curious. Bye.